Welcome to the DC Comics Deck Building Game Video Starter Guide. In the DC Comics Deck Building Game, you will play as one of seven different DC Comics superheroes. Each hero has their own unique ability that you can activate throughout the game. You will begin the game with two different types of starter cards in your deck, punches and vulnerabilities. On the top left of each card is the card name, in the center the card type, below that the card text. In this case, it is one power for a punch. Power is the currency used in the game to purchase or defeat all cards. Below that on the left hand side is a star with a victory point amount. That is how much the card is worth at the end of the game. On the right hand side is the card cost. That is how much power you will need to purchase or defeat that card. Starter cards have no cost. You begin the game with seven punch cards and three vulnerability cards. That is your starting deck. Shuffle those together and draw your top five cards for your starting hand. Any cards you purchase or gain during your turn will be placed immediately into your discard pile. At the end of your turn, any played cards or cards remaining in your hand will also be placed into your discard pile. After shuffling the main deck, place the top five cards from the main deck into the lineup. There is no board necessary to play this game, just reserve space for each card. Next, you'll place your supervillain stack, weakness stack, and kick stack on the table. Supervillain cards are high value cards that also take quite a bit of power to defeat. Each supervillain also has a first appearance attack. In this case, the attack for Lex Luthor is each player gains a weakness for each villain in the lineup. There are 12 total supervillains included with the DC Comics deck building game. During the standard game, you'll face off against 8 of them. Raish al Ghul always going on top, with seven random supervillains placed face down below him. Weakness cards are worth negative one victory point at the end of the game, and are often gained through attacks. The kick stack contains 16 kicks worth two power each time they're played, and one victory point at the end of the game. Now let's look at the cards that make up your lineup. The blue cards are hero cards. The orange cards are superpowers. The red cards are your villains, and your gray cards are equipment. You will also have pink cards that are called locations. Your locations play a little differently than any other card. When a location is played from your hand, it remains in front of you for the rest of a game, giving you certain bonuses if certain conditions are met during your turn. Cards may say attack or defense on them, when an attack card is played, the opposing player may choose to play a defense card to avoid that attack. You may buy as many or as few cards as your power will allow during your turn. However, the lineup does not refill, nor does the next supervillain reveal until after your turn ends and you draw your next five cards. The game ends when all supervillains have been defeated, or the main deck has been depleted and you can no longer refill all five spots in the lineup. The player with the most victory points at the end of the game is your winner. In the event of a tie, the player with the most defeated supervillains in their deck wins the game. To see the complete rulebook for the DC Comics deck building game, visit Cryptozoic.com.